An autumn sunrise on the Jewel Wildlife Area is cool, crisp, and quiet. But not for long. The majority of the bugling that you're hearing out here uh, during the rut is the mature bulls because those are the ones that are dominant. They try to run the other smaller bulls off. Bull elk bugling is unlike any trumpet or trombone you've ever heard. They bugle at one another, they challenge one another, and then they kind of pace side by side. Signs that the rut or breeding season has arrived and the battles have just begun. And then all of a sudden, they will turn and they will commence to lock their antlers and push on one another. They mean business until one of them finally gives up. Not a fight to the death, but a pushing match that determines strength and virility. This is a, an alder tree where elk have been rubbing on. Bull elk grow antlers up to five feet high with a tip to tip spread that's even wider. As hormones rise, the bulls become more aggressive, and alder tree rubs are common. Helps establish their dominance. If there's other bulls around and they're just scraping and they say, I mean, I'm meaner than you, and, and uh, you need to stay away from me. You don't want to stay away from Jewel this time of year, but keep in mind that Jewel is but one of three elk watch sites that provide amazing moments in the wild. Each December, wildlife area manager Ed Meguez travels 150 miles a day to reach 10 feeding sites on the 12,000 acre Elkhorn Wildlife Area. It sprawls across Union and Baker counties. The Elkhorn Winter Feeding Program started in 71 to keep hungry Rocky Mountain elk up here in the forest rather than ranch lands on the valley floor. We don't miss a day. Most of the Elkhorn wildlife area is closed in winter, but the Anthony Creek site stays open, so visitors can stand by a warming fire and enjoy the show. There's one more show that should not be missed on this statewide elk watch, the Dancing Antlers at Dean Creek Refuge along Highway 38, three miles east of Reedsport. They are guaranteed to stop you in your tracks. Back at Jewel Wildlife Area, biologist Brian Swearingen says, bring patience when you come, and don't be afraid to linger longer, even after sunset. Because you can hear the antlers clashing, and you can hear some bulls bugling, and you can hear some of the calves and the cows sort of talking, so it's still a, a good experience. At the Jewel Wildlife Area, with photographer Jeff Kastner, Grant McComey, KGW.